Welcome back to A to Z Animals. Today, we're discovering the largest snake fossil ever found. But before we get into this video, please consider subscribing with post notifications on so that you'll never miss an upload. Pythons and anacondas are some of the largest snakes in the world today. But what about prehistoric snakes? Has anyone ever found fossils of snakes from long ago? How big do you think dinosaur snakes would have been? Scientists can take fossils and piece them together to figure out clues from the past. Let's learn about the largest snake fossil ever found. The largest snake in the world is the green anaconda, that is, the largest living snake. Prehistoric snakes are thought to be much larger. Green anacondas can get to be 18 to 20 feet long and weigh 300 to 400 pounds, although some have been recorded to be larger. They are a thick bodied snake that can reach 12 inches in diameter. You wouldn't be able to grasp your hands around them in some parts. The longest living snake in the world is the reticulated python, which can get to be 15 to 20 feet, with some getting more than 25 feet. They are a heavy-bodied snake, but not as bulky as anacondas. An average reticulated python can weigh up to 250 pounds. According to the Guinness World Records, the heaviest snake on record was a 500-pound anaconda shot in 1960 in Brazil. The snake measured 27 feet 9 inches, had a 44-inch girth, and was 500 pounds. Since then, Reports of larger snakes have occurred, such as an anaconda reported to be about 33 feet and more than 800 pounds. However, verifying these reports, which often happen in remote areas, is difficult. The largest snake fossil ever found was discovered by a group of scientists in northern Colombia in 2009. They found fossils from the Titanoboa serginensis, which means titanic boa. Based on the size of the fossils, scientists think that the largest snake was 43 feet long and weighed 2,500 pounds. Can you imagine? In comparison, the largest school buses are 45 feet long, so that is one big snake. And for a snake that long to reach 2,500 pounds, it is not a skinny garden hose shaped snake. It had to be a thick bodied massive snake. The scientists found the fossils at the Sarajan coal mine, the largest open cast coal mine in Latin America. It is located in the department of La Guajira in Colombia, which is in northern Colombia. The two primary scientists were geologist Carlos Jaramillo from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute and vertebrate paleontologist Jonathan Block from the University of Florida. The lead the author on the research article was University of Toronto's paleontologist Jason Head. Titanoboa serginensis, titanic boas, were thought to be a boin snake, similar to anacondas and boas of today. They were a non-venomous constrictor snake. The area that is now southern Colombia was thought to be a tropical rainforest as well back in the prehistoric times. Scientists think the fossils date back to 58 to 60 million years ago. This was after the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. The scientists found vertebrae and ribs from the largest snake fossils ever found. Snakes of today have between 100 to 400 150 vertebrae in their bodies and another 10 to 200 in the tail section. Snakes are considered vertebrates due to their backbone structure that is moved by muscles. There were not skull or teeth fossils recovered at this dig site, but artists were able to sketch an idea of what they thought these mammoth snakes would have looked like. If there were titanic boas around today, they would be as long as a school bus and weigh almost as much as a small car. A geologist from Indiana University, David Polly, gave this description of the titanic boa. At its greatest width, the snake would have come up to about your hips. Can you even imagine standing next to a snake that came up to your hips? Wow! When you think about dinosaurs and prehistoric animals, they all seem to be bigger than the animals that live on Earth now. Why would that be? Scientists are looking into the temperature of the Earth during prehistoric times as one of the major factors that contributed to animals being able to grow larger and heavier. Snakes are cold-blooded animals, so they are influenced by the temperature in their environment. This is why there are no snakes in Alaska. Did you know that? Researchers have found a correlation between the average temperature and the size of its cold-blooded animals. Think about the large green anaconda and the tropical climates they live in in South America. You are not going to find any 20-foot snakes in Canada. Well, technically yes. Is it likely? Probably not. Scientists estimate the temperature would need to be at least 5 degrees warmer over a consistent period of time. In the climate world, 5 degrees is a huge amount. Another cold-blooded animal that we have found fossil evidence from is the crocodile. Just recently in British Columbia, tracks and traces from ancient crocodiles have been found. The tracks are estimated to be 95 to 97 million years ago. By measuring the distance between the tracks, scientists can estimate the size of the crocodiles. The ones they found were estimated to be 20 
29 to 39 feet long and weigh around 5 tons. The largest crocodiles today, saltwater crocodiles, are about 15 to 17 feet in length and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. Absolutely. Paleontologists and scientists continue to search for fossils of ancient reptiles and dinosaurs to better understand the history of these creatures. A 43 foot long snake seems to be pushing the limits of the animal, but who knows? Maybe larger snakes did exist. Causes of extinction include habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, poaching, and climate change. All around the world, there are hundreds of species of endangered snakes that we should act to save. Many of these snakes only occur in tiny restricted habitats, making them vulnerable to extinction. Did you find this interesting? Leave that in the comments below. Subscribe for more animal content like this.